name is Zammer. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and saying no watch me. Hey, we are back with more. The Devil Stan Molly McGee. I'm super excited to continue watching. Hope you guys are as well. We are watching season one, episode seven, the turn of twists and all systems. No, I'm interested for the second one. What are, what are we saying no to? <laughs> But nevertheless, everybody, please remember to support the official release of The Ghost and Molly McGee over on Disney+. Plus. And if you like these reactions, want to see the full uncut reaction, you can check out my Patreon page. Link down in the description below to support the channel over there. But without further ado, let's get started. Here she is, Midwest Monthly. Oh. I've waited four weeks for this. <laughs> and now to find out which town has been named best on the Midwest. And winner is... Perfect four! Oh! Perfect four wins every time! Aww. For too long, Brighton has been counted out. But no more! The next edition of Midwest Monthly will crown the best, best in the Midwest. And it's going to be Brighton! Who's with me? Why do you care so much? Chill out, dude. I love it, Mickey. Always wanted to take that smug perfect board and down a peg or two. Wipe those perfect smiles off their faces. Uh -huh. All we need is a festival that would draw the <laughs> We already have one. Did you earn it's best? best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't a joke. Heart about dead in the water. No! Surely you haven't been able to fun turn it fast in decades, but back in the day, it was a real hit. Oh, right, no. Goldie? Oh, sorry. Assistant Mayor Goldie? <laughs> we can't oh, be perfect no. with turnips. Yeah, turnips are just potatoes that went horribly. <laughs> I will have oh. no anti-turnip talk in this office, McGee. Huh. I knew you would. You're my smartest advisor. Okay. All we gotta do. So that Wait fish just doesn't even want to live. And tourists ring. Tourist money. Which means more funds to inhabitify the town. Winning us even more awards. Nice. Uh -huh. Hi, reality here. Aww. You the turnip, which is what you get if your wax became a vegetable. Mm. Guys, you know, I'll eat anything. But a turnip? No way. Oh, I'm coming. Bye. Perhaps we need to talk. Your misery numbers are frankly miserable. Yes. I've been cooking up something really miserable. A turnip festival. Can you believe it? Hmm. Turnips are miserable. Ah! The festivals are risky. They can't spread joy. Turnip fest is back! Did you say turnip fest? No. That's a vegetable I can root for. Ah! <laughs> this weekend, celebrate Brighton's tastiest treat. Would you care to try one of Brighton's famous turnip tornadoes? Molly and Pete work so hard. I can't be the one to crush Aww. their dreams. I mean, oh, I got too close to the turnip tornado machine. Jeff, you know. Oh. I have you. Oh, well, you know I can always count on you. Oh, yes. boy. Yeah, you can always count on me. Sort of like how I can always count on you. Uh-huh. Starting to see a loop. 
Oh no. Okay. But I'm so tired of writing about perfect boy. They win everything. Ooh. Don't worry about it. We get it. Perfect is in their name. Dad, you're doing it! <laughs> I gotta no. go tell your mom the good news. This is it, Molly. Things are really turning around for me. I mean, if I don't find a way to stop this mess, they're gonna send me to the flow of fail phantom. No, flow of fail phantom. Uh -oh. That is not happening or my name is not G.E. No time to spell it. That's dumb, okay. Jeffrey. It was a bad idea to fill the pinata with turnips. <laughs> yeah, it was a bad idea. Here, let me help you. <gasps> Aww. I solved all your problems, buddy. You know it feels good to do good. Yeah, thanks. I guess. Aww, scratch. See that? Midwest monthly available at the click of a button. Okay, I will admit this layout is very convenient. Aww. Just like this button and. the festival, but I can honestly say it wasn't my fault because it was yours. I mean, I yeah, but the colossal screw come on, so Scratch. Oh, anything for you, buddy. And now the ghost council doesn't have any excuse to send you away. I mean, this place is as miserable as it gets, and that ain't changing anytime soon. It looks like the turnip fence was a real turn down for business. Gonna have to close down this old place. Right in Logan Lodge. Uh huh. You you want to book oh. a room for next year's turn up fest? Oh. You think that sounds like fun? Well, oh, well, sure. Let me uh, get my pen. Wait, more bookings? Oh. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, so the turnip festival was interesting, especially if, once again, if you've lived in a small town, you know, you have your little like festivals and stuff. I know for us, it wasn't like explicitly said it was like a corn festival. It was more so like our town city thing, but like there's a lot of corn related activities most of the time, but no maze, which is kind of a bummer, but whatever. I've still never been in a full corn maze. I need to do that. I really do. But anyways, regardless, I know there's certain towns that have like, you know, like fruit, like fruit more themed days and vegetables like i've seen like strawberry raspberry blueberry blackberry festivals like those seem fun but yeah i like this episode for the fact that like scratch has this very like big internal conflict going on where he's like i don't want to get sent to like the shadow realm of endless suffering but at the same time like molly is so happy and like she's doing so well that i don't want to ruin this for them because like i care about this family so it is really really sad but even even bad things can be good things and I think that's been more a thing on the rise lately where like people don't want perfect like I think of a, a dash con with the ball pit it got infamous infamous for that pathetic ball pit so I think there is some merit to just doing things really really badly and I think even though turnip fest was good there's some bad things they did like turnips are just bleh. though I've never had turnips so I don't know and <laughs> That in the song too. I, I'm really curious to try a turn up. I might have to try to like get one or something at some point just to try it. Cause they were like, Rad, keep, drop your radishes and jicama. And I was like, oh my God, I love those. Those are my favorites. Then uh, kohlrabi, another kind of like root one. Those three are like my faves. So I don't know, like I'm t slightly curious. Maybe I would like them or they might be just bland. Probably just bland. But I am curious. My my curiosity was peaked in this episode. <laughs> but 
it was nice seeing dad do his best and then people were booking rooms after because they wanted to be a part of the madness and then the end part where you know the happiness was going up a little bit in the town there was that ominous moment i don't know if that will truly lead us to anything in the future or be brought up or if it was just a an ominous little moment that the town kind of teeters back and forth a little bit which i think is natural especially since like there's not like a lot of ghosts to sway the town one way or the other it's kind of just scratch and then sometimes jeff comes so i liked it i liked it a lot really good little festival definitely got that small town feels going about it and the little joke of dad like waiting for his waiting weeks for his magazine and molly's like you know you could just read that online right like seems kind of silly for you to wait <laughs> granted yes the i do understand what dad meant by the magazine smell i would never you know pay like three dollars and wait two weeks to get a dirty magazine just for the magazine smell like it was just not it but i do like for like new books and things like that i do understand that one i i don't think i could ever go away from that new book smell especially for a book i really really want does make a difference but yeah overall turn up festival was a solid episode i enjoyed it a lot good morning molly it's We could start out with the super happy picnic at the park and then get up the aquarium and watch some TV shows. Oh, it's sunny, it's Saturday, let's go out and make this an awesome best way to There's the time to go to the city college and more and more for the really possibilities. Right outside our door, there's auctioneering, volunteering, human bioengineering. Look, the day is disappearing, so let's go to the house. We could float in silence in a deprivation tank. Oh, oh. This is gonna be awful. Okay, okay, let's test this out. Scratch, do you want to do nothing today? No! I see what you did there. Okay, so I guess my answer is no. <laughs> huh. All right then. Molly, get back! It's not safe. We've got a bee in our home. Uh, so you're antagonizing it with the broom? Oh. You got a better oh. Crazy, 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 crazy. Will you be my taste tester? Yes. Aww. I'm happy to. Oh. Is this gumbo? Not bad for a beginner, huh? Well, come on, Mom. Aren't you going to eat it? Oh, yes. yes I it. am. It's so good. Oh, Molly. Okay, look, whenever I could 
wrong and sorry and I won't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scratch, you're not in trouble. Oh. For months. Okay. Cool. Oh. We're pleased with you. The misery levels have been on the rise in your town. Very impressive work. Which is why we'd like to invite you to join the Elite Ghost Society. Oh. Oh! You accept our invitation? No! I've been waiting for this moment my entire oh, life. Oh, no! You're asking me, you Lord, what am I going to say? I'm going to say, oof. How do you? Yes! 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 Oh, boy. Yes! Uh-huh. No. <laughs> Scratch. Consider carefully because we will not ask you again. Ask for like, you for know, a day to think on it. Will you join the elite ghost oh, No. <laughs> oh, Scratch. Well, my eternity is ruined. I'm really starting to regret this whole curse. Oh, no, Molly. You mean reverse the curse of the inverse? Oh. which is just a silly episode of them being like, you can only say yes, you can only say no. A pretty standard esky children's, you know, formatted episode. I don't think Harley Odd Parents had even an episode like that, which I, I like to compare this show kind of to Fairly Odd Parents. Like a Fairly Odd Parents mixed with like Star vs. the Forces of Evil. That's what I would like classify the ghost of Molly McGee. So far, we're not done with it. We still have a lot of, we've still got like a good chunk of episode left. I think we're not even at like the 50% way mark of the season one. So there's still a lot of episodes left. So I might be judging a little bit early, but that's kind of the vibes that I'm picking up from the show. Overall, a goofy episode. <laughs> The magician hate has been a funny thing lately. I feel like more and more people have been having this weird like, I hate magicians. Like we've been moving away from like clown hate to magician hate. So it's a little odd. I don't know why this has happened, but it's a thing apparently. And of course, Scratch being sent or taken back to, you know, the people in charge and be like, we're going to make you a VIP ghost. Like, oh, like join us. And he has to be like, no. <laughs> it's so sad and tragic but overall it's just one of those goofy silly episodes and them ultimately be like maybe saying no or yes all the time is not good like maybe that's just not a good thing maybe you know having choice and having some agency over your life one way or the other is a good thing like always saying no to everything is not great and saying yes is not great either you know you, you you need you need to have that control and make those decisions for yourself and you know try not to be too selfless but also you know care about others and you know not take them for granted and understand that you know good acts and random acts of kindness go a very very long way even if you don't feel that way so Overall, it was a nice episode. I enjoyed them both greatly, the turn up and all systems. Now, I'm interested to kind of see where the show will kind of continue on and what other wacky little adventures that we will get ourselves into. It's a fun show. It's a good show. The little songs in it are always very enjoyable, very good. Once again, very similar to Phineas and Ferb type of like vibe with that music going on. So I really enjoy it. It's fun. It's, it makes me laugh. It gives me a lot of like good vibes, which is fun. I like the fact that like, especially right now, and I hope, I kind of hope it doesn't really change change, but I like the fact that we can just like relax in this show. It's a very relaxing show, you know, similar to Fairly Odd Parents. Still, they do have some episodes that are like, oh no, like what will happen? Like we need 
Wanda and Cosmo back. And that's fine. But I do hope this show can stay at least 85%. We are going to have fun. We have goofy mischief. Maybe we can learn a really good lesson here or two. And we just go on. That's my hope. It's a fun show. I like Molly. I like Scratch. And I feel like everything about this is a really good just family friendly show that anybody literally can enjoy. So I enjoy it. It's a very like safe show. And I say safe just because like you could just show it to anybody. And I don't think a lot of people would have any problems or gripes about it besides the paranormal aspect of it. But like even then it's just meh. It's not like it's in no way is it fantasizing or encouraging like paranormal esque things where like I can understand in like Owl House people having gripes with it because it is promoting like witchcraft and wickedness, which nothing is inherently wrong with that. But if you were, you know, raising a kid in a Christian household and very, very dedicated to that and you aren't willing to talk to your child about the fact that that stuff, you know, is not allowed in your faith and that it's okay to watch these things, but not to practice them if that is your faith in that stuff. But most parents aren't that way. They're just going to ostracize their child and get mad at them and not have like, you know, an actual conversation with their child. So I feel like Ghost of Molly McGee has the very safe premise where I don't think anyone could truly have a problem with this show that it's a pretty safe one to just randomly show child a family member anything like that and I don't think anyone would have a problem with it so it's fun I like it and it has really good vibes so I love it a lot so thank you guys so much for watching with me I'm so glad I get to watch Ghost of Molly McGee again this was really really fun and of course if you like this video please make sure to like share subscribe all that fun jazz comment down below let me know what you guys think I'll see you all later. Bye.